Welcome back to my morning report on Thursday the 15th of October with me, Richard Perry Market Analyst at Hantech Markets. Let's move on to cable. And we've had this strong run. Wow, what a what a couple of days we've had on cable actually. Um, data driven pretty much entirely. Um, you had the uh, UK CPI on Tuesday. That was this big red candle. Um, UK dipping back into deflation territory, 0.1% negative on inflation CPI number. And then a big turnaround yesterday on uh, two things actually. The uh, UK uh, employment data was strong with strong um, wage growth. And then into the afternoon we had those disappointing retail sales from the States. That's had a massive impact on this chart. Big, big green candle there. Big strong bull move. Um, certainly, technically, um, it um, sort of reasserts the bulls in this um, in this move higher big support left at uh, 52 figure now uh, being yesterday uh, sorry when uh, sorry Tuesday's low and um, it certainly now sort of flips you back in towards uh, a, a move higher in towards the highs of this um, sort of uh, this band once again the initial level is obviously 5660 which was the uh, the old highs that we saw through through this sort of trading period through July and August, um, slight breakout, but then again it became a resistance level uh, again in September. So that is the resistance that we need to be looking at um, initially as the next move. Um, Momentum-wise, not massively strong, although it is improving. You're up at 60 on the RSI, so you'd want to see that higher really because. Um, that's when you start to see the strong momentum coming in when you move above uh, 60 and towards 70. So yeah, you'd still want to see that momentum uh, pushing stronger. But I mean, looking at the um, MACD lines, there's not really a great deal there. You're in a big trading range, so MACD isn't sort of doesn't become so relevant or useful. Um, stochastics near term are obviously positive. But look at the moving averages as well; they're basically flat. So, it's um, it still is a range play, and I'd still be treating it as a range play. Um, you've had this strong run that was yesterday. This is the hourly chart. You've had that strong run higher, which uh, sort of unwound that uh, big sharp move lower on the UK CPI, um, and uh, basically a consolidation really um, in the last sort of 12 or so hours. And what I'd be uh, looking at is using little dips as a buying opportunity. Really, I think um, it certainly looks like you've got a, a nice band of support around that sort of 53.80 level, 53.90 um, from a bit of a breakout level. That's your initial support coming in. This um, slight unwinding of the momentum, um, near-term MACD crossover and stochastics falling away. So maybe that is sort of going to be inducing of a bit of a correction. But I'd be using a correction as a buying opportunity now on cable because it certainly looks like near term the outlook is positive for further gains. Um, and um, I'm not convinced that we're going to be seeing um, big gains in cable. Um, you're going to get a lot of volatility, I think, around the data. You've got more US data out this afternoon. You've got the CPI, but also the um, uh, f uh, regional Fed surveys as well. And um, I think they will have an impact on uh, on cable. But uh, I think what we're looking out for is um, certainly further um, further moves higher. Uh, just near term, I, I would say this is a near term gain uh, within the range. Um, so uh, just be careful of that. But certainly um, the outlook for cable has improved in the last uh, 24 hours. Anyway, I wish you good luck in your trading and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.